It's got to the point that people are now giving us food vouchers to survive. It's an absolutely beautiful start to the day in Bristol. It's amazing what a bit of sunshine can do for the soul. My first mission of today, I'm sending my first bit of merch via the post. Most people have collected their merch, like, personally. And the first bit of merch that's going out today is actually going all the way to Australia. Hey guys, welcome to this week's video update. It's been a bit of a quiet week this week. I've kind of just been catching up with editing, like catching up on the songs, tidying things up, ready for you guys that are joining me later on in the tour. I've only had two people on the bus this week. I've had Beth Robinson and I've had Tom Copson. I've actually got Beth coming back tomorrow, so we're gonna film all of the session tomorrow because that's when we're actually recording. One thing that's been really exciting though, this week, Isaac and myself, Isaac's back there somewhere, so I've been writing with uh, Isaac, Tyler, they're great, from, uh, from all the way from Leeds. Um, really, really nice guy, deep down. Means well. Where are my clothes? There goes Isaac, great guy, great guy. <laughs> that fully threw me. So as I ended last week's video in Liverpool, I arrived in Bristol that evening. And I was meant to have two sessions. Unfortunately, one I did, I don't know what happened. I didn't hear, I didn't. I didn't hear from you. I d I d so that didn't happen, but I had a session with Tom Copson, which was really, really fun. So I'm just here getting some work done, minding my own business, and look who it is, the real traveler. <laughs> Got some salad. Hey, how are you, matey? I'm good. <laughs> hey. Oh. So if we go to the edge there. Yeah, yeah. Ever since I was a child, I've been looking for another excuse. Discover that the earth is not as small as the shape of my boots Underneath the ground yes. na, 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 na. The thing I love about Tom's writing is he tends to write quite unusual music. I love that about you, Tom. Like, always writing unusual stuff, thinking outside the box. But also damn catchy. I've been singing it all morning. Shame about the other session, but it brings me to a point of there's so many of you guys that I've obviously been speaking to and absolutely loving to speak to. There's quite a few dates that aren't being like officially locked off though and I don't want anybody to miss out. Do make sure if we've talked about a session that you get in touch or that we've spoken, we can just lock it off. At the time of this video going out on the Wednesday, I'm actually here for another week and a half. So a week on Monday is when I leave Brighton. So if you are London area, Brighton area, make sure you get in touch. I want to work with you. Bristol was amazing, really great time to catch up. Uh, not as much writing in Bristol, easy to catch up with things, but ultimately, great times. I'm now off on my way to uh, London tonight, ready for two days with Beth in the next couple of days. Right, seeming as so many of you keep asking about the car situation, have I sold the car? Nope. Also, just an interesting but really quick bus fact. I have been on the road for 20 days now, nearly three weeks, and I've only charged the batteries once. So all that work we did on the batteries and all that money that we spent is kind of paying itself off because I'm saving like 20 quid plus a night on campsites to charge up the power. So, so things are going good. Hey guys, so last night I arrived in Oxhart, safe and sound. I'm ready for Beth. I think we're meeting up in about an hour. She's working today, so we're just gonna have a walk, hopefully up this path just here um, whilst she's on her lunch break. I just got an email from a girl called Elise Van Asher. I think that's how you pronounce your name. Elise, I am certain you are going to correct me. She's just emailed, we're organizing a meeting up in Belgium near Antwerp, where she lives. She's got a beautiful little village there. I've just had a look and gonna go see her and make some music, but I just found out that she found my channel via an Aston microphone review. The, 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 the microphone that we use in the little purple thing, she saw a review of that microphone and now we're actually gonna meet her all because of a, of a review video. Absolutely bonkers. Really cool and it's actually her birthday that weekend as well. So anybody that might wanna go see Antwerp or like the villages around that, meet the real communities over there and make some music. Get in touch, you can join. You can come and join us and meet Elise and all of her music friends and just learn from each other. But I thought that was just a crazy story. She saw a review and now I'm driving all the way to Belgium, to Antwerp, to, to make music. 
Thank you for all the lovely comments this week. Grace said, Amber's voice, OMD, all oh my days. Grace, thank you for your message. Looking forward to seeing you today. Carol Jarvis, no worries about the change of route. Real Brass is still planning to catch you towards the end of your road trip to put the horn section cherry on the top. In August, when I come back to the UK, on this beach, we're hoping to record some brass. There's a real cool company called Real Brass. They're gonna come and work with us. And if I remember correctly, Carol, who's left this comment, has played for Seal. That's a big deal. Carol, thank you for your comment. George K, I really need to get around putting an up-to-date video on Instagram with the music I'm making and send it to you. Too bad about Spain, maybe you'll be able to do that some other time. This won't be the last tour, I hope. George, I hope you're right, my friend. Thank you to everybody else for your comments. Really appreciate you all, as always. Keep in touch over on Instagram. If you've got any more important questions, email me at team at madeontheroad.co.uk. So I had a guy knock on this morning that was really angry that I was here, like, he was disgusted almost that I was here and how dare I park in this car park. So long story short, a parking officer's just arrived because he's had five complaints that I'm here. The guy that knocks, like, it doesn't make me angry. What it does make me though is just sad. <laughs> because I feel like we're in a culture where we don't have conversation. We're in a culture where we don't speak to each other and just don't assume before we make judgment. And that makes me really sad. At the end of the day, I'm here to help a local musician with their career. I wanted to let you guys know that like, you know, van life, it, this looks amazing and it is, it's the best life, really is. But what I just find really sad, and this is what it builds to, is that I'm here to help people. I'm here to add something to the community of Oxshot. I guess all I can say, and I know you guys are on board with this because you watch this channel, but we need to spread the word guys together of just not judging or not creating an assumption before acting like verbally to people. Find out someone's situation first because they might actually be helping the local community more than the people that live here. I'll see you next week where I'll still be here in sunny Brighton. If any of you are around and you don't want to make any music but you just want to come and have a coffee or chill or go and enjoy the beach or the pier, that would be bloody lovely. I'll see you guys next week. Look after each other, take care and remember, never stop creating. Never stop creating. Are you awake? I would not use the word awake. Isaac won the football yesterday, so he uh, took me out for some drinks, didn't he? I'm fresh as a daisy in there. Isaac's struggling a bit. <laughs> See you guys later, bye.